everybody. So today is my dad's birthday. Yes, by chance. I had already chosen my dress and then she wanted to wear the same color dress as I because it's Papa's birthday. And what are we making for Papa's birthday? A carrot. A yummy is the yummy carrot cake I love to eat. Okay. But because that's Papa's favorite. Yep. So we love that cake. Yes. She's been like very interested in baking cake for Papa every birthday. So um papa's birthday um favorite cake is a uh, carrot cake so today we are going to make a uh, carrot, carrot cake, cake for papa because it's papa's birthday but before we go ahead um we are no cooks uh, we are not um bakers so it's not gonna be a video about baking i want to talk about the importance of establishing um tradition uh, within family within christian family too so some of the traditions, first I want to share with you, some of the traditions that we have in our family are um, on Friday. What do we make on Friday? Spaghetti. On Friday we have we have spaghetti. On Saturday we eat free thai. If you're Haitian, you know what free thai is. Free thai is like, a, you know, fried stuff. It's like a Haitian meal where we fry plantain, we fry meat, um, sometimes goat or beef. And we fry, um, we make marinade, we make patties, um, which is like puff pastry, um, basically with fillings inside. And we make like other yummy stuff on Saturday. We, sh we kind of just try our best to eat healthy the whole week because the weekend all gloves are off. We, um, on Friday though, Papa makes the spaghetti because Papa is the best chef. So on Friday, my husband, um, when he gets home, he makes spaghetti and we sit down together and we eat spaghetti. Whether whatever is going on for the day, um, we all always on Friday, um, he comes and make and cook spaghetti and we all sit down and eat together. And then on Saturday, I make free Thai because I love frying stuff. And then every birthday, um, we kind of just make the person's favorite. Like when it's my birthday, Papa makes me um, delicious meal. And when it's Papa's birthday, Jack Chloe, because nobody else can prepare Papa's birthday except for Miss Jack Chloe here. Hey. So, so and <coughs> let me tell you something. So, mm -hmm. um, what again? You forget what you were gonna say. What? We will come back to you. Wait, no. We're back. <laughs> so, so yeah, she loves making cake for Papa, Wait, and she I, loves making cards. Well, I and I the know. the only thing with the card though, she puts her name on all of the cards that I make, even the cards that I make for Papa. She puts her name on it. <laughs> yeah, that's cards. The, that's card. A, the card that I made for Papa, and I write in it, and I put my name, and then you put Papa and Jake Chloe. Yes, I put a heart and then I just put um, Papa Jekyll. I want to show you the card. Okay, so she's going to show you the card, but be, when she comes, uh, I want to share with you the importance of establishing a tradition. We are living in a world that's crazy, and I was talking I was talking about that with a friend. Um, Give me a minute, Bobo. But actually, you want to show it first, and then... Yeah. So, so this is, these are the cards that So, this made. is the first one that I color. I put red, orange, um, blue, and purple since my dad, since my dad like, um, red and black, I put red and black here, and here's my pattern, here is my pattern, so I put red, black, black, red, and then I put dad, dad, but the other one is actually a real pattern, because my dad will love it. I just want to show you what when my when we when we're done eating with the cake. Okay. So so I I you can put this. When I I was talking to a friend and then we were actually um yes a friend. And then we were saying how the world is crazy right now and it's like it's not it's, I mean, the world has never been safe for anybody, but 
um, at the point where we are living, not only we are in a pandemic, but we have like mass shooting right and left, and then we still have people unemployed, um, and, we, and have we still have the shooting of you know um, of uh, of black bodies. So it's like there are a lot of things that are happening, and the mo the most important things that a family um can do right now is to make your home a safe and happy place because where else your children are gonna go you know um most of the schools are still closed a lot of the schools are still closed church is still closed um i mean in in most places um church is closed so right now uh, we do church at and home the, and the coronavirus is on the church that's why they closed the church and they and the pastors are out of the church yes too. the pastors are still in church but people can't go to the churches because they want to practice social distancing but my cousins some of my cousins who are um well where it's in coronavirus in the church, where there's coronavirus in the church, they go in the church anyways. They got yes. in the church. So, and we got a BFA! Alright, can I start now? Many things. I mean, and when it's my birthday, I want my mom to get everything I want. Okay. And but my other my, my some of my friends and cousins are gonna get them. I will tell them what to get for me. Oh, okay. So well, they want, yeah. Is that nice to tell people what to bring you for your birthday? Well, I don't think they will know what what I'm getting for my birthday. But some of the people who knows what um. They want to give me and they to give me whatever they want. I won't tell them. Okay. I think they will get a a a the something I would like. Okay. All right. So can I speak now? When I need to speak a little more. Oh. Okay. Some of the important um some of the important reason why you should establish a tradition and it could be anything. It doesn't have to be like a huge thing. Like um. For us, um, um, spaghetti, um, a spaghetti Friday, which we call it, we just eat spaghetti and then um, sometimes we 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 um, watch like a service, listen to music or watch a movie or something. But on Saturday, we definitely watch a movie um, with our free tie. And most of the time, it's it's um, our daughter's selection. She selects the movie on Saturday, and after we watch like two kids' movie, and I'm like, okay, time to go to bed. And then it's just um, my husband and I. We just stay um, on Friday, on Saturday. We almost don't sleep. And I um and and usually when people call me, I'm not available because I'm just watching a movie. Um and and I hope people can understand that you know sometimes um you know a friend or family might call me and I said, oh, I'm watching a movie right now. And they're like, well, you're just watching a movie. No, I'm watching a movie with my husband right now. So call me back. So, so this is what we do on weekend. We make sure that we spend quality time together. We are all piled up on the couch with our blanket um, after we eat our free tie, and then we just watch like some really nice movie in Netflix. That's what you call Netflix and chill. But I want to talk about like a you know about a biblical perspective uh, um, perspective of having the tradition. You know when God was um, when God when Jesus was on earth with his disciples, we see that. They had like their own little like in group uh, um habits, their own little routine going on, you know. They'll go together, um, and then when when um Jesus would say that you know I'm hungry, and then some of the disciple will go and then find food, and then they all always sit down together, um, and eat together. And and even when God, uh, even when Jesus, I keep saying God, sorry, even when Jesus is invited to go to dinner at other people's house, he always bring his friend, his disciples, and they always go to these dinners together and they sit down and eat together so eating together is like a very strong to, um, uh, um, family tradition not just a Christian you know a Christian tradition um, to uphold but it's something that brings people together food brings people together um, we all know that you know you having a party and then people bring food and all of a sudden you have like you know you're sitting across people you don't know but the minute you start eating and talking and then everybody's happy so 
It's easy to establish a tradition around food in your family. It could be something that everybody likes. Um, you know, like if your whole family likes spaghetti, like ours um, um, does. Um, like I love spaghetti, my husband loves spaghetti, and he makes it all different kind of ways. And my daughter loves spaghetti. And, and by judging from how my son was when he was in my belly when I'm eating spaghetti, so I'm guessing he loves spaghetti too. So, cause, um, cause when my mom chews, the baby just swallows the food. <laughs> yes, whatever I eat, the baby gets. So it's very important to have this like moment to sit around and then eat together, um, and have this time, this quality time for you and your family because the world is just in chaos right now, and not even right now, it's been in chaos. We just didn't feel it that close. But you know, it's very important to have that safe place for for the whether it's for the youth, whether it's for children inside of the family home, because the outlet that the youth had, you know, it doesn't. You don't have to do it um, for your young children. If you have young people, sorry, if you have young people, you have teenagers at your house, you still have. Um, don't think that it's too late to have some kind of tradition going on. Um, it's it's never too late to start something good in your family. So um, they they still need that I can um, see that you. safe Jesus place. Can see Mm-hmm. And Jesus will be happy about it. So they they all need that safe place because um we've we've seen in the news that they said um car tests you know <coughs> um sorry drug use and all of these other crimes are are rampant right now because the youth have no place to go. You know the the children have no place to go. You know a lot of children's. Uh, a lot of children who are having anxiety because they're home for so long. They do school at home. They do church at home. They talk to their friends while they're still at home. And they have no place where they can kind of just remove themselves from their parents and stuff. So we have a lot of these things going on. It's very important to have, to make the home a happy and safe place. No matter what's going on. Um, you can do it like um, you know even if you you don't talk to each other even if you just you just got into an argument you were just keep that tradition um, um, um separated from what's going on inside of the house at least that's how we do it even if um, my husband and I are having some kind of disagreement he will still come home and make the spaghetti and mix the spaghetti um, and I will still make free tie on Saturday so basically sometimes we'll have something during the week and then we kind of just forget about it on we um during the weekend because we're all gonna eat together so even if um something is going on we still um uphold that tradition and we still sit down and eat together on friday and we still make the same food that we all love and 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 watch a movie together um, uh -huh. in, um in the weekend so if you haven't already um i would uh, you know i would recommend um to to start it you know it doesn't have to be food maybe it's a game night you know a game that all of your um all of the members of your family they love to play maybe it's game night um uh, maybe it, it could be like um you know walk into the park like my daughter and i we have something since she was like two or three um, we, since she started walking, I, we used to take her to go for walks, um, and, sometimes in the evening. So, and we, um, she also puts me, um, and, um, she also puts me in a playground sometimes. She teach me how to s slide on the slides. Yeah, sometimes we'll go to the park. So that was our thing. Like we go for walks together. And because that was our routine, when I gave birth to my son, um, she started to feel like anxious about going outside. She's like, mom, when are you gonna feel better so we can go outside? Because it's our thing. Like we go for walks to, and, 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 and this is something that I, I always say. I said, mm -hmm. um, Mom, I really want to go outside. I want to go in the park, but my, I, I want to go for long walk and for sometimes for long walks. My mom always say, um, we need to take a short walk. We can't go too far. Yeah, we can't go too far all the time. So, so I always say like I always tell my husband, if we're gonna leave someplace, he he has to have like. 
um um trail work um trail walk and um like you, you know mountains and parks and places where we can go for walks because that's our thing we go for walks and yeah. and because i work from home and i stay home a lot so it's very important for us to get outside and go for walks so that's another routine that we have um at in our home and and i feel like this um also keeps us balanced because i'm i even though i'm like introvert extrovert um, 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 depends on my mood. Um, it's very important to have a balance. Like when you work from home, you can't just be inside of your house 24 seven and you know, every day you have to get outside. And for my daughter, it's very important, you know, so, raising, raising a child what? when you are, hold on, boom, raising a child when you are, um, um, when you stay at home, they need to go outside and play. And, they, and when they're uh, like little like this, they can't always go outside by themselves. So I would like to encourage you today to start a tradition in your family and make your family, your home, a safe and happy place for your youth, for the youth, for the children, for the teenager in your house, and even for you and your your husband and or your, or your wife, your spouse. Just start something that would keep the family, or at least that would unite the family together on the weekend, um, at least or the evening, whatever it is. Just do something that would make your home a happy place because the way that the world is going we might as well get used to transforming inside of our house and then pray to God and invite Bible study and and make God the center of that house so we can start living like a holistic life so we can start living the way that God wants the family to be because remember the devil is after the young children you know for the adults he knows that if you love god then you love god if you believe in god then you believe in god then that's already done but for the young people they're still learning they're still they're like sponge they're still like kind of just uh, uh grasping everything around them and then they're easily influenced by things <laughs> So it's very important um, to create an environment where they they feel like they love God, where they can kind of just stick together. They they can stay at the home and find that home that um and find that the home is a comfort for them, so they don't have to keep going outside for the things for the basic thing that they need, which is uh which is also emotional security, mental health um wellness and all of these things so um, we're gonna make a carrot cake now what did you want to say so when kids grow up and when i grow up into my into like like a mom i can go outside like by myself when you grow up like a mom you can go outside by yourself yes okay